This is how to get the vapor pressure of water at a particular temperature using free energy at standard state at 70 degrees Celsius and the equilibrium constant. The question reads, use the data in the appendix to calculate the vapor pressure of water at 70 degrees Celsius and our answer is to be in units of torr. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, that appendix is full of data. Which data should I use? All right, here's our strategy. If we could get the equilibrium constant at 70 degrees Celsius, we would know the pressure of water, liquid, I'm sorry, gas state, over 1, because liquids don't count. So all we'd have to do, really, is get our hands on delta G standard state at 70 degrees Celsius. And the way to do that is to get delta H and delta S and then figure out delta G at a different temperature. So let's do that. Our reaction is H2O liquid in equilibrium with H2O gas. And we'd like to know what's that equilibrium at 70 degrees Celsius. So uh, for the delta H for this reaction, I will take the heat of formation of H2O gas minus the heat of formation of H2O liquid, and I will determine the heat of formation for that particular reaction. So that should be a minus 241.82 minus a minus 285.83. That value comes out to be plus 44.01 kilojoules per mole of reaction. Okay. Now I need to figure out delta S, which is going to be my entropy of formation of H2O gas minus my entropy of formation of H2O liquid. So I will take 188.7 minus 69.91 and this value comes out to be 118.79 and this should be in units of joules per Kelvin mole. Okay, now to get the free energy at 70 degrees Celsius, I'm going to take my delta H which is plus 44.01 kilojoules per mole minus T, and I'm trying to do this at 70 degrees, so this would be 273.15 plus 70 times delta S, which I will make sure I have in units of kilojoules per Kelvin mole, so that would be 0.11879 kilojoules per Kelvin mole. And this, of course, is in Kelvin, so my units will cancel out. Now I can figure out the free energy of standard state at 70 degrees Celsius. So my free energy at 70 degrees turns out to be 3.247 kilojoules per mole. Now I need to find out my equilibrium constant. So I will find out the equilibrium constant at 70 is equal to e to the minus delta G over RT. So that will be equal to e to a minus 3.247 kilojoules per mole. And this will be divided by 0 0.008314 kilojoules per mole Kelvin times 273.15 plus 70 as my temperature. So when I put this all into my calculator, I have to get E to the minus 1.138, which turns out to be equal to 0 0.3201. Three two o four, and that's in units of atmospheres. Okay, because that's what a usual equilibrium constant answer is in if we're dealing with gases. Okay, so 
remember that that equilibrium constant of 70 degrees is going to be equal to the pressure of the water vapor over 1. So 0.3204 is my answer, except I have to say that it is in tors, so I will take this and multiply it by 760 tor, or millimeters of mercury, per atmosphere, and my number comes out to be 243.5 tor. Now, probably, what should I do for sig fix here? It looks like I'm down to about three sig figs right here at this stage because um, this value is only good to the hundredths place and when I take that as an exponent I should probably actually have four sig figs but I notice that WebAssign says answer to two sig figs. So fine, if I will put it into WebAssign as two sig figs I would put this in as 2.4 times 10 to the second power tor. And I actually went to the trouble to look up the real vapor pressure of water at 70 degrees Celsius and it turns out that it is 233.7 tor. So we're not perfectly accurate with this method but we're within the ballpark.